Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today what we're going to be looking at doing is how to create a multiple choice quiz using simple tools such as Microsoft PowerPoint. Now what the quiz looks like is something like this. We have a lot of buttons, uh, we have some instructions, but here we have you know um, a few buttons that will take us to different um, you know levels of the game. So let's say for example we've chosen easy um, now it goes through and asks us you know a certain question so we have our options here and when you click on one of these options you either get um, a correct response or a incorrect response so if that was incorrect then you know a slide pops up um, to show that it's incorrect now how do you actually do this it's quite simple first you have to actually come up with you know your question so you know if you make a new slide in PowerPoint you can add pictures you can add a whole range of things so let's go now and add a question so my question is you know which picture represents Luke Skywalker now I've got a few pictures on my desktop that I'm just going to drag into PowerPoint and I'm just going to make smaller and I'm just going to drag him and put him there and I'm going to get another picture and also put him into the PowerPoint document as well. Now, once you have your question, what you need is you need two more slides which will represent correct and incorrect. So you would have to create a correct slide. And in here, um, we've now just gotten a tick from the internet and you know we've put it into that slide and that would be our correct slide. For incorrect, we do the same thing. So we would have incorrect and we will get across and these pictures you can just uh, download them from the internet so to make this happen what we need to do is we need to um, make sure that when we click on Luke Skywalker it goes to the correct slide which is slide 73 or if we click on the other character it goes to incorrect so how do we do this we press Control K to bring up our hyperlink you know window here and we can go place in document now you're going to have to make sure that you find the correct slides and really what you should do is every slide should have its own title so that you're finding the exact slide that you need but in this case I know that slide 73 is our correct one and I'm going to uh, do the same process again and make sure that slide 74 is incorrect so now if I go and if I preview that so now you can see that when I hover my mouse over these pictures the hand um, icon appears now that means that it's a hyperlink so if I click on Luke Skywalker it's going to take me to the correct page okay so I can also try it again with uh, the other character and just to you know make sure that it's all working so if I click it it goes to the incorrect slide and that's basically how we add um, hyperlinks to our PowerPoint document. So to get all the questions working, and in this case, this person has like roughly around, you know, 74, 75 slides, you have to repeat the same process again. For each one question, there are two options, correct and incorrect. Now to save you time, what you should be doing is you can highlight both of these things, um, these slides by holding control, and you can press control C to copy, and control V to paste and they will paste those slides exact duplicate copies so that you don't have to actually fill them in again all you would probably have to do is to create maybe a button that will go to the next question so the button on this this slide and this slide will take us to uh, this slide okay and and that's basically it is there's not really much to it you know you have to have a wide range of questions but once you put all your questions together um, you know it shouldn't be too hard anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you next time